Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legends of the Ocarina of Time. In our last episode, we got to inside Lord, uh, Lord Jabu Jabu, George Jabu Jabu, and uh, uh, we got through about, I don't know, I, I would say more than half of the dungeon. And uh, now we're actually going to be meeting a mini-boss, so let's just go in here. Hey look, there's the third spiritual stone. That's it, that's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there, onto the platform. Hopefully in this episode we'll be able to finish the the uh, dungeon, so. I love how the sound comes up even though that, yeah. Princess Rudo got spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when, Lord ja when George Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside, but now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So come take me home right now. Okay, let's just go up here. Oh, what? Um. Yeah, what is this, an octopus? Yeah, yeah, now we gotta fight a mini boss. It's actually a pretty easy boss, but then again, I am using a controller as I said, so. What we're gonna have to do is use the item that we got in the dungeon. Hey look, we can see outside the map, that's great. Wait till he spins around. Aw, oh, damn it. God damn it, why are you so fast? Turn around so I can hit you. Oh my god, hit him. God damn it. You're right there. You're so close! How am I not hitting you? I'm just gonna keep walking. Like, look how close I am right now. Like, Jesus. Oh my gosh! Link, you have a bad arm. Hit him! Yes! Now we can hit his butt face. And then hit him again. Wait for him to do his little spinny dance thing. Oh, shit! Yeah. Now we gotta do it again. Then he comes back over here. And maybe this time he'll go on that side. No, Jesus! Why is he still going this way? Now he's gonna come this way, I think, right? Yeah, he's still going that way. Let's see if I can go behind him if he switches his route. Uh, it wasn't this, it didn't take this long before. Crowro. Actually, it, it took longer before. God damn it! Oh my god, really? What the hell? Fine then. Take that, you fart. So if he hits me, he can do that, but I don't want to die is the thing. So, hi! How would you not... Okay, you're dead, thank god. No! Oh, I tried ta using Tattle, or Navi, damn it thinking of Majora's Mask now. So now we can go back on this platform and we get a risen up here. But uh, where did she go? Whatever. We're actually almost to the final boss. Actually I think there's like one or two more rooms and then we're... Yeah. All I gotta do is hit that and then jump over here. Then hit that. I don't care if I can get hit. Oh my god. Just go. Just go. Okay, you damn Octorok. And we go in here. And now this platform will raise, I think. Oh no, this one. Or actually, okay, it'll lower. And that one room that we couldn't reach, now we can reach. But it has another switch that we need somebody to hold it down with. But we could also use this box here. So instead of using Rudo, because she's gone, we can't really use her on the switch. So let's just put the box right here. Okay, I guess I have to step on it first and then... 
put down the box, so... Let's see. That works, okay. And here is pretty well the last room, because you can see the boss room's right there. You don't really have to do anything here. All you gotta There's a Skulltula here. I guess I'll get it, but I, even though I keep saying that I'm not gonna do 100%. God damn it, how did that not hit you? Yeah, that's right. What the hell? You know what? Screw this. I'm bombing you. Wait, what the... I'm, I don't, I'm not even gonna question what happened. Let me just climb up here. Get the green sculpt or wow, the green sculpture. Yeah. Okay. And now all we have to do is hit a switch, and we're at the boss. So you're gonna notice that we can't hit this cobweb here. But if you aim at this, it'll go around, hit the switch, and open the boss door. So let's just fall down. Not okay, whatever. Just do your thing, Link. Just do your thing. And uh, now we're actually going to the boss room. This boss is pretty simple too, but. Uh, as I said, controller might... Um, I might fail. I might even die, actually. This isn't really even a boss. It doesn't even look like it's a living thing. And just as I assume, it's gonna lag, probably. Maybe. So we're going to use the item that we got in here to break off its tentacles at the top there. As you've seen, I just knocked one down. Got, I knocked down the other one. And now to hit the last one. And now he can actually move around, so... What we're going to want to do is go up to him with that. And then... Hiya! 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 And then he gets angry and starts spinning around and shit. And you can see, they, the jellyfish can, the jellyfish can uh, block the uh, boomerang, so we're going to try to get lucky and go... Because see how they raise? You could, they, they spread apart more, so uh, we can try to get in. I don't know why I'm having such bad luck right now, but yeah. You'll see once I actually hit them, what happens next. There we go. Now they're available to hit, so what I'm going to do... Oh, shit! So I'm going to hit this one. Hit that one. And now he only has one little guy following him, so... Oh, we're gonna... Oh my god, Z-targeting, you're terrible. Uh, then you gotta hit him. Wow, he literally blocked it with one. And now what we gotta do... Oh my Jesus, Lord, jeez. Is to hit him. Now he's basically invulnerable, so what we gotta do... Is not to miss and not get... Okay, that works. Then hit him. Then hit him again. Hit him again. And now what he's going to try to do is hit us with his lasers. This is basically just a phase. You can't really hit him right now. So when he's done shooting, he'll turn back into that. But now he's actually going to shoot while he's moving. Which can make it slightly more challenging. But at the same time, not really. Now he's going to use two of his, like... Oh, shit. Now he's going to start uber charge, and then... We're just going to hit him two more times and he's dead. So what we basically did is give him, uh, uh, whatever the hell that freaking thing, poison ivy, and now he's just going to die, so. Bleh. Do, 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 do. And like, like our last few bosses, we get a heart container. Now we actually have six, so. Oh wait, is that Rudo? She looks really pissy right now. You're, you, you're late. What do you, what's taking you so long? You're useless. I was going just getting lonely. After all, I heard I was all just little. Hey. Flag is beautiful. Flag is beautiful. Do, 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 do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Smooth, Link, smooth. <laughs> She'll jump in the water too. From behind you and then appear in front of you because that's how life works. You, you look cool. Cooler than I thought you would. Anyway. Well, anyway, you saved me so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone. 
You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora's sapphire, don't you? <coughs> my mother gave it to me and said I should give it to only the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right, I'll give <coughs> give you my most precious possession, Zora's sapphire. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't I didn't agree to marry you. <coughs> I, I don't want it if I, I don't want the marriage. I, I'll just take the stone though. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, guys. Now we have the third spiritual stone, and now we actually have all three spiritual stones needed to uh, <coughs> go to the uh, the freaking place with the thing. Okay. You obtain Zora Sapphire. This is a spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. So yeah, we have all three spiritual stones, and now we have access to the Temple of Time. Well, we actually already had access to the Temple of Time, but yeah. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is go over here and as you see Lord Jabu Jabu is still being George Jabu Jabu Jabo Jabo is still here he's just chilling but I, I guess he's feeling better now that we uh, helped him out oh, I'm sorry I'm like burping and hiccuping at the same time so yeah um, now Princess Rudo's here with her father now we can just now we can actually just leave and go to the Temple of Time, but we're running a little low, short on time, so this is probably where I'm gonna stop recording for today. So thanks for watching and goodbye.